Hi, it's Kim, Notes from My Needle. Uh, welcome back to Floss Tube, I think number 34. It's been a while since I've made a video, probably about two months. Um, it's not that I haven't been stitching or haven't had anything to show. I've just not really felt like filming. I've been spending a lot of time outdoors with uh, my kids. Um, they've been off school since March here in Nova Scotia where I live. I live in Eastern Passage, which is a suburb of Halifax, Nova Scotia. And schools have been closed here since March break. I've been trying to kind of get them ready to head back to school because schools are reopening. Um, we've been purchasing masks and just practicing going out in public wearing the masks because they will need to wear them at school. I have one in high school and one in higher elementary, so grade five, six. And they're looking forward to going back to see their friends, but we're all like a little bit filled with trepidation at the same time, if that makes sense. Not necessarily worried because in our particular region, the cases have been low, but at the same point, we did lock down early and we did make mandatory masking happen earlier than some other places that are still having higher cases. So I'm optimistic going into it, but we're preparing for the worst at the same point. Um, but I mean, that being said, everything's been going well. The weather's been beautiful. I've been spending a lot of time outdoors. Uh, we've gone to our cottage. We've gone kayaking. Um, a friend of mine has a pool, so we've been spending a lot of time there instead of trying to go to the beaches and things like that where social distancing might be a little iffy. Um, but in between all that, I have gotten quite a bit of stitching done, so I'm going to hop right in and show you with finishes first, I think. Um, and I think I'm going to start with fully finished objects. So the first one I want to show you is one that I finished stitching a while ago. And this is one of the block parties by Hands On Design. This one's called Mend. And uh, it's all sewn together by hand. If you can see the brown here, there's back stitching on each piece and then you just kind of lace the back stitching actually in the back. You can get a closer view of that. And it's almost like ladder stitching it together, but I love how it turned out. It's just stuffed with polyfill. Um, it came with the wool felt to put on the top and I mean that's not straight and my whip stitching is not perfect but I really don't care. I love it and it's mine and I'm so pleased with how this turned out. Um, in the picture on the pattern for this it does show like um, just another button company pins spelling out mend and then one of the pins has one of these like tomatoes. But I don't think I'm going to purchase those. I did find some super cute buttons on Amazon, not buttons, I'm sorry, pins on Amazon that have button heads and they're all different colors, similar to the colors that these stitch buttons are. So I think I might grab those and put a bunch of those in the top and then place them on a little shelf above my sewing table maybe. I'm not 100% certain, but... I'm just so happy to have this finally stitched together. I bought this pattern and all the materials in, I wanna say it was 2018. So it's been like two years in the making, almost to the day to get this finished. The other thing I have fully finished is, I finished Beach. This is by Emma Congdon. This was in the July 2020 issue of Cross Stitcher Magazine. Um, the pom-pom trim is from a packet of trims that I purchased from Michaels. In the picture in the magazine, it shows a tassel trim, but I couldn't find anything like that. Um, I pulled this super cute starfish fabric out of my stash and just made an envelope pillow. Um, I did also make the pillow insert and I probably could have made the insert a little bit bigger and stuffed it a little bit more but I really still like it a lot and I plan to also set this on like a thin shelf over my sewing table. I do have quite a few cross stitch pieces hanging on the wall in, by my sewing table and I figured that would be the best place to put this. That's kind of where I put things that, not that I don't want to display all the time, but that don't necessarily go with other things or other colors that I might have in the rest of the house. 
And other than that, I do have a few other finishes that I haven't fully finished yet. I finished Coffee Quaker by Heartstring Samplery. Super pleased with how it turned out. Um, this is an 18 count um, custom dyed Ada by hand dyed by Rolanda. She's on Etsy. The thread is also uh, hand dyed by Rolanda Threads and it's number 44. Um, hold please, that is my fabric baking in the oven telling me it's done. Sorry about that, I underestimated how long was left on the timer for that. I'm dyeing a piece of fabric because I purchased uh, one of the Stitching with the Housewives patterns, one of the What's in My Cups, the beach one, and I wanted to dye a piece of fabric for that, um, but we'll get into that in a minute. So, as I was saying, the thread is also uh, hand dyed by Rolanda, it's color number 44, and the only changes I made is down here, so, oops, sorry, over here where this bird is and these coffee beans are, there's meant to be a berry bowl there or like a pie, but because I used one color of variegated floss, it just looked like a blob of color and it you couldn't really make out what it was. So I had stitched about half of it, but I pulled it back out and I took one of the birds from this center motif here underneath coffee and moved it over here. And then I took some of the coffee beans on this motif. Um, I also changed, like in the original pattern, um, Beth Twist's initials are on the Quaker and the year for 2016, but I've changed it to my initials and the year that it was finished. And I'm really super pleased. I went to Ikea a few days ago and I picked up a frame that I think will work with this. So I just wanted something really simple and I'm gonna hang it in my kitchen next to a wall hanging I made with some um, foundation paper piecing coffee mugs on it. And I'm going to, I think, frame it in that frame and hang them both together and I'm hoping what I bought will work. Just gonna set that aside. Um, my next finish is I finished the 2011 Schooler Santa. I played some extreme margin chicken here, so I'm really hoping that I can uh, finish it without too much trouble. The red, green, and yellow, and the black too, I believe, are all DMC Etoile. And then the white in the snowballs and in his beard are B5200 mixed with a strand of Rainbow Gallery Petite Treasure Braid in a white, I'm not sure what the color number is, but I'm really happy with how that turned out. I do have a few more of these in my stash that I plan to get done potentially, um, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, I've not really felt a whole lot like stitching Christmas. I'm kind of going back and forth with different pieces. Um, normally by this time of year I'm in full Christmas swing but I've not really felt the mood to do it lately so we'll see how many ornaments I get finished for this year. The next piece I finished is Stitching with the Housewives What's in My Cup Honeybee and this is 16 count Ada and I'm using the DMC conversion. And I dyed this Ada myself using Rit Black and Rit Pearl Gray. And I think it turned out super cute. Um, they're tiny, but that white, all that white, that's a lot of stitching in all of that white, but I really love this. It needs an ironing. And I have plans to finish it um, with a ruffle on this galvanized sunflower that I picked up from my local Michael store. So my plan is to circle finish it, but finish it like a little bit smaller than what the center of this is to leave room for a ruffle. I have some really cute um, fabric that is printed with bees. And then, I mean, it's a large scale print, so you won't really be able to make out what it is, but the colors will match really well with this. So I'm super excited to get this one finished and up on the wall. 
and then the final one I have finished is actually um, my secret stitching that I've been doing for the Stitch North exchange. Um, this is, I haven't fully finished it off yet because I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fully finish it for my partner. Um, but I don't think she watches my floss tube, so I'm pretty sure I'm safe to share it here. Um, Tara, if you're watching, look away now, plug your ears, don't watch, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't watch my channel. And this is this cute little Australian pelican, and this is by Fuzzy Fox Designs on Etsy. Um, I dyed the fabric as well. This is 16 count Ada, and I dyed this using aquamarine writ. It's coming up more blue on camera, but it's actually more aqua -y yet bright than what it's showing on camera. Um, and I really, really like how this turned out. It turned out super cute, and I hope my partner loves it as much as I do. <coughs> Excuse me. Just have to take a drink. That's better. Um, well, since I already showed you one thing that I've purchased, that being the galvanized sunflower, why don't I get into some of the other purchases that I've made? As I said, I did purchase the what's in my cup beach and honeybee was also part of those purchases as well as the pattern for the australian pelican those have all been recent purchases um, i did also purchase the be a pineapple pattern from hands-on design i love this so much it's super cute um, my plans for this are obviously i i do plan to stitch the drum and i think i will stitch this i'm not sure if i will finish it as a tray or not um, i do also plan to spit to stitch the key fob or the scissor fob but I am going to turn it into a key fob and gift it to my son he loves pineapples he's obsessed and then I think what I might do is I've seen other people have pulled out the flamingo and have made scissor fobs with that as well and I might do that for my one of my really good friends who's obsessed with flamingos and because of that, I know that this pattern calls for DMC, but because I plan to do that with that flamingo, I wanted to get some pinks um, and see what I might like to stitch it with. So I picked up from Weeks Dye Work, I picked up Bubblegum. That's some pretty good variegation there. And also from Weeks Dye Works, I picked up Emma's Pink. That one's really variegated. And then from Classic Color Works, I picked up Ripe Melon, which apparently is a new color for this year. And there's some good variegation in that one as well. And I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to stick stitch the flamingos in. I feel like probably Bubblegum because I'm really kind of drawn to the brighter pink and I feel like it, it will lend itself well to that. Um, if anybody want, is wondering what that stitching is in the background, that is The Astrologer by Joan Elliott, and I stitched that back in 2003. The other purchases I made were some Mill Hill kits. I purchased this trumpet. I plan to stitch this up for my son as well, as he is a trumpet player and instructor. Um, he plays in the school band as well as in his local cadet corps. He is the chief petty band officer, and he plays the trumpet with his cadet band as well. And I purchased this Mill Hill kit as well. Um, one of my good friends who I've known for many, many years is a saxophone player, and I plan to stitch this for her for Christmas. Um, she plays in a local jazz ensemble band here in Halifax, and she has performed with the Nova Scotia International Tattoo no, numerous times as well. So, and I think she'll really, really like that. I also picked up from Embroidery Marketplace, I picked up this spiderweb fabric. I've had um, one of the blocks from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery sitting in my stash forever, the Witch Better Have My Candy. And they've stitched it on a similar fabric. And I just thought that it was so stinking cute that I had to buy it. 
and this is it's a 32 count and it's an even weave and it's made by fabric flair but i purchased it through embroidery marketplace and it's definitely more than what i need which is fine because i'm sure i'll find other little halloween pieces um i may go out and pick up the 2020 halloween ornament issue of just cross stitch which i've never done before because halloween stitching normally isn't my thing but i saw somebody on youtube do a flip through and there were some really really cute pieces so i may have to pick that up and then the final thing i purchased um, is a finishing piece and i bought this to finish the um, what's in my cup beach on and it's this really cute adirondack chair picture frame sorry for the glare um, priscilla finished hers on a white one from michael's i couldn't find that at my michael's here and I just happened to be in my local winter store the other day and they had this and I snapped it up immediately because it will be perfect for what I want to use it for. The piece is basically going to fill up this whole frame so you won't even see this part. Um, the only other things I have, let's see, oh I do have to show you what I'm working on. Um, I am potentially going to take up knitting. Um, my good friend that loves penguins is a yarn dyer on etsy she goes by battlebot knits and she gifted me two skeins of her yarn and i found a pattern on ravelry for a shawl and these are the yarns that she gave me and i think these are just beautiful and they're so soft she also gifted me with a set of needles so my plan is to find a tutorial on YouTube to learn how to knit. So, because, you know, I need to take up another craft. I, can, I can't just sew and cross stitch. I have to do all of the crafty things, just like all of the rest of us. I'm hoping that it won't be too hard to pick up. She tried to teach me at one point how to make a dishcloth. That did not go over well. Um, my my tension was way off and it just, I just couldn't do it. But I think because the yarn is a little bit more delicate and not as hardy as what you would make a dishcloth out of, I'm hoping that that will go well. And finally, let's see what I've been working on. Um, I made myself this cute little project bag. I love sloths and penguins. These guys are super cute. Um, this trim is also from the pack I got from Michaels. And right now, the only thing that I've been working on, other than the two smaller stitches I finished, um, I'm working on Light by Barbara Anna. This was one of the free designs that she gave away for the Be Well and Stitch hashtag. And I've already stitched the key. So I'm planning to finish this in a similar way and do a hoop finish once I'm done stitching it. Um, this is a 22 count Ada and I'm stitching this one over two. And I think the coverage is really good. I'm using the um, all DMC. Um, I did make a couple of substitutions. I didn't have a couple of the oranges so I subbed them out with colors that were close. And um, yeah, so this is how far I've gotten. Um, I did also place an order from 123 Stitch, but that hasn't arrived yet. Um, I had broken one of the clamps on my 8x8 Q snap, so I had to order a new one, and then I ordered some fabrics from. I can't remember what dyer. Once they come, I'm sure I'll do another video and show you. That's pretty much everything I have for now. I plan to, over the next few days, fully finish off a few items. Um, if I do that, I'll post it over on Instagram. I'm a lot more active on Instagram than I am on YouTube. And my handle on Instagram is at notes from my needle. So if you want, you can pop over there and follow me if you want to keep up with what I'm stitching and what I'm working on. And until next time, I hope everyone is well and having a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.